What is up guys, today I will show you how to add custom clothes to a metahuman easily and you can animate it, it's fully riggable, you can use it in your cinematics or in game, so let's get started. So first of all you need your desired clothes, you can get them whatever you want, uh, it can be from assets or paid models, for this case I will use free models from Sketchfab, so let's go to search. I will choose these boxes, filter them, uh, it means it will only show free models. Now let's choose fashion and style and for example I want some armor and let's take this one, click download. Uh, usually there will be uh, an FBX file or a Blender file, uh, in this case I will just use GLTA file, click download. Now let's head to Unreal, we need to import uh, our metahuman, go to add, add quixel content, it will open quixel bridge, I will uh, go to metahumans, and actually local, I have already downloaded some metahumans, and I will uh, choose this one, so I will just click add, and now we can just drag it, and, uh, we'll see he's naked, we need to Go to the blueprint and select our body and now click here to find our skeletal mesh and here click asset actions export. I will save it here, click save and we don't need uh, level of details and collision uh, so I will keep it like this. We can also export our head, so choose our face, find it and just click export. Okay, now you need to open Blender and if you never use Blender, it's okay, it's free and it's easy to use, just follow my steps. Okay, delete this stuff. To navigate in Blender, use your middle mouse, just hold it to rotate and press shift, hold shift and middle mouse to navigate like this. Now let's import our clothes. In my case it's GLTF, you can have FBX file or whatever you have. Let's open GLTF. Okay, now you see giant model. And personally, I would like to export this as FBX. I will do this right now. Export FBX and check mesh right here. And keep in mind, it's just optional and it's for my model because it's GLTF and I want it to be an FBX file. Now let's import our skeleton. Select this, import and also import our face. Like this, and we have this scary face from the start. <laughs> Don't be scared, just select this face mesh, just uh, select this one, this is a pure mesh without rigging, and click Alt-P, clear and keep transformation. Now we can delete this thing. Now let's import our FBX model of our clothes. Import. And it's giant armor. First uh, I will select everything and click Ctrl J. So it will group our mesh. Now I will make it smaller. I will click S and make it like this. I think that's almost ideal. Now what you need to do is uh, to select your clothes, go to modifier, add data transfer, uh, click vertex data, vertex groups and uh, select source your body, your metahuman skeleton body, click, 
generate data layers. Now select your body, go to root pose, uh, go to pose mode, your uh, skeleton is selected, go to pose, apply, apply selected as rest pose. Now go to your default material, again to the modifier, make sure object mode is selected. Add armature and reference it to the root. Now click shift and drag your clothes to the root of your metahuman body. Now as you see our body moves with our clothes. Now let's delete our face mesh. We don't need this and go to export a bx export wherever you want click armature and mesh export a bx now let's go to unreal and import what we just made in skeleton let's select meta human base scale Import all. Now let's open our skeletal mesh. And as you can see, our body is overriding our clothes. And to prevent this, you can just go to your material, uh, delete this, click, make it translucent, hold one and click, connect it with opacity. Okay, just save. And let's rename this as uh, transparent. Now there is no body of red now closes. You can also go to this material and make it two sided. Now it's way better. Now let's go to our metahuman blueprint, go to torso and select our skeletal mesh and click here. As you can see we have our clothes but our body is overlapping our clothes. What you can do here is first you can adjust it in the blender so it doesn't overlap, it's the hard way. but if we have clothes like this, when our body is fully covered, look at this model. It covers our fingers, our torso, everything. Uh, you actually don't need your body, you only need your face. So you can go to your body and uh, make it transparent material. Uh, the one we just made, just Ctrl B, look at this material click here and we don't see our body and we don't actually need this you can see matches perfectly now let's save it let's check if the rigging is uh, okay add your metahuman uh, and for example use control rig now let's try our hand matches perfectly. That's pretty much it. Keep in mind that I didn't dive into some deep details, it's just a basics, uh, beginner tutorial. And if you want, I can make another video for custom made human clothes uh, where I will explain more deeply with details and uh, some advanced methods. Also, I found, I discovered some tips uh, that I didn't find on YouTube and I will, I can share it with you. I don't know if anyone will see this video. I hope it helps at least someone. If it did, leave a like and comment. Comment if you want more tutorials and I hope to see you in the next one.